Hey, I'm Curtis and I live in Vancouver, Canada. Say I have a friend in Sydney, Australia, and throughout the year I call them when it's midnight for me. So on March 8th I call them, it's midnight for me, it's 7pm for them. And then this weekend we change our clocks, so 2am becomes 3am. So when I call them the next week at midnight, it is 6pm for them. And then they change their clocks, so in April it becomes 5 p.m. for them. Then they change theirs again, so it's 6 p.m. And then we change ours, and it's 7 p.m. again. And we restart all of this madness the next calendar year using different dates. All of that madness is because Vancouver and Sydney use Daylight Savings Times, or DST. But not all of Canada and Australia use those times. So if I'm in Dawson Creek, Canada, and I call my pal in Brisbane, well, neither of those places use daylight savings time. So at any month of the year, if I call at midnight, it is going to be 5 p.m. in Brisbane. Any month of the year. Man, that's a lot simpler. If you're an American that's laughing at Canadians and Australians for their inconsistencies, let me remind you that not all of America uses daylight savings time either. And actually only 40% of the countries in the world use daylight savings time, which means that the whole map of the planet looks like a splotchy mess. And if you add the complicated mess that are time zones to that, it's pretty much impossible to tell what time it is where without just resorting to Google. Before I can even ask why do we do this, let me first remind you that the Earth's axis is on a tilt, so daylight length changes throughout the year, and that effect is greater the further you are away from the equator. That means that in Vancouver in December, there's only about 8 hours of sunlight in a day, but in June, there's 16, and let me tell you that's awesome. South of the equator, that effect is reversed, so for Sydney, they get more sunlight in December than they do in June. Okay, with that recap, a hundred years ago, in 1918, some of America adopted daylight savings time. So daylight shifted from looking like this to looking like this. Now, keep in mind that daylight savings time doesn't change the amount of sun that you get, it just changes what time it shows up on our clocks. Okay, so why do we do this? Is it so that people that work outside can make more use of daylight hours? Like farmers? Well, no. Actually, Farmers generally oppose daylight savings time, and in fact, in America, they were the only organized lobby against it. Consider that cows can't tell the time, and they just get up whenever the sun tells them it's time to get up, so all that daylight savings time does is confuse the farmer. The other argument in favor of daylight savings time is that it saves energy. The argument goes like this, people that are up more at night get more sunlight, so they don't have to use their lights as much. But a study done in 2008 found that the effects of heat and air conditioning during those times actually counteracts the effects of the light, and that means that overall there's actually more energy used with daylight savings time than without. In addition to the energy costs, there are other costs that are kind of hard to calculate but an economist in 2008 from Utah State University gave it a try. He looked at the missed opportunity cost, basically the cost of people wasting time and the inconvenience of changing their clocks back and forth throughout the year. And he calculated that it was an annual cost of $1.7 billion for America. That estimate is from a decade ago, and now most of our devices just automatically change the time for us, but there is definitely still an inconvenience cost. And we live in a global age now, and calling people in different countries can get really confusing with daylight savings times. Okay, so why do we do it? Well, I honestly don't think there is a legitimate scientific reason for using daylight savings time. And that might be why, in 2013, when Americans were asked, only 37% of them thought that daylight savings time was worth it. Personally, I feel like I'm just giving myself a little dose of jet lag, just for kicks. Like kicks in the face. I think it's time we change how we change time. Specifically, I think we should stop changing our clocks. So what do you think? Should we keep doing daylight savings time, or should we, say, live in eternal summer? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read and see what you think. You can click subscribe if you're into that, and thanks so much for watching.